Hey, what's going on guys? Destry here from Destrimonies.com and in today's video, I wanted to go over with you five different types of social media posts that you can do in order for you to be able to grow your audience and expand your audience. So number one is a value post. You want to be able to solve your audience's questions. So it's a great way for you to be able to build relationships with your target audience just by helping them solve a particular problem or frustration that they're currently facing. So a couple of ways you can do this is um, use wording like um, a little known way to do XYZ, for example, or you know, to be even more specific, a little known way for you to lose five pounds and, and get your beach body ready for the summer. So a value posts always follow up, you know, a certain flow when it comes to um, to engagement with your audience. So you can you know do an intro, you can pose a question, and then provide an answer or a tip, and provide a call to action. Now, one thing about value posts is you can also incorporate videos instead of just making it a text uh, post, where it still follows the same format where you would go into an intro, a, a pose a question, give an answer or a tip, and then a call to action at the end of the video. So when you're doing value posts, make sure that you're actually in tune with who your target market really is and what their pains, problems, and frustrations are so that you can help them with your, the types of posts that you are providing to them, the type of value posts that you're providing to them. Number two is recognition posts. So recognition posts um, recognizes either your accomplishments or the accomplishments of your team members. And people like to root after people that they are that are actually having success and actually getting results in their businesses. It's little wins that you need to be able to, you know, provide some accolade for yourself and for your team members and it's even more powerful when it's coming from a team member because it's showing other people that they're getting results from the type of information that you're uh, f providing to your target audience so recognition posts also raises curiosity and a great way for you to be able to do this is to post you know photos of you uh, on your company's leaderboard or if you don't have those type of results yet even uh, building your your email list to you know 10 15 20 people whatever the result is chances are that you can you the result that you're having someone else is struggling to create for themselves so the people that are struggling with you know trying to build an email list up to 100 subscribers for example would be interested in the type of posts that you are having and the type of results that you are creating for yourself so Number three is to create story posts. And as human book beings, we, we, com we communicate through stories. And you can leverage different types of events that's going on in your life. You can you know leverage stories of um, attending your first live event or attending your company event, whatever that may be. But when you create stories, make sure that you're sharing your journey, your pain points that you struggled with, and the successes that you've had and the type of solutions that you provided when you uh, create this story post. So, um, you know, a cr quick outline for you to be able to, to do this is make sure that your story has an attention grabber, some kind of headline, and then you go into an introduction, share a little bit of a background which includes a pain point that you went through, um, and then your success story or the climax of the story and then a call to action. So a call to action could be like, um, if you get value from this post, make sure that you like uh, comment yes down below and I'll share with you how I did X, Y, Z. So that's a example of a story post. Another example is number four, uh, is an engagement post. So engagement posts are where you're actually asking your target audience for a specific action. So mm -hmm. Let's say that you wanted them to share or comment on a video or a Facebook Live that you created. One of the things that I wanted to point out to you is that when you Facebook, if you're using Facebook in particular, Facebook actually has an algorithm that shows certain posts to only a certain audience that you actually engage 
with the most. So if you want more people to see your post, you want to be able to engage and have a relationship with uh, the audience members that are you know, commenting on your Facebook Lives or commenting or sharing or liking your posts or your photos. As, as long as it's being engaging and actually interacting with your audience, Facebook digs that kind of um, reactions and will show your posts to more people the more that you engage with them. So I've listed a couple of examples in uh, the, my blog post below, so make sure you check that out. And then number five, the fifth type of way for you to for for you to post on social media is a call to action. So call to actions are call to action posts are direct and to the point. So it tells it people exactly what you want them to do and it actually raises curiosity. So an example would be when I first created my first ebook, I I posted on Facebook, um, I just created an ebook on the four secrets to building your brand and network marketing business online. Comment below I'm in if you want a copy to, of it. So people that are interest, were interested in actually reading my ebook, they would comment down below and I'd shoot them over a pri in a private message the link to my ebook. So that's a direct call to action. You're telling your audience what you want them to do and you let them know what they will be getting from that call to action. So most of the time when you're creating these uh, call to action posts, make sure that you're you're only doing this type of post maybe 10 to 20% of the time. Uh, 80 to 90% of the time, you want to be providing your audience with value and to continue to build that relationship by sharing more posts that solve their problems or help them with something rather than constantly pitching people on your business because that comes across as spamming to people and most people are are immune to that these days. We, we've seen so many people um, just posting um, you know, their products or the services and not really providing any value to the marketplace and actually helping people with um, the problems or frustrations that they're facing in the moment. So these are the five different types of posts that you can create on social media. So if you guys get value from the content that I've been sharing with you guys, make sure you hop on my newsletter at destrimonies.com forward slash newsletter. And if you were actually interested in the ebook that I created, make sure you check out destrimonies.com forward slash four hyphen secrets for your copy of my ebook. So with that, I'll hope you guys have an awesome day. I'll catch you guys in another video.